So according to U.S. intelligence, Russia is facing major military setbacks in its war in Ukraine. So this is from Al Jazeera. And by the way, please consider subscribing. So Russian forces are facing setbacks in their invasion of Ukraine, according to U.S. intelligence. They stressed that uh, Vladimir Putin's plan to install a puppet government in Kiev is unlikely to succeed amidst fierce and unexpected resistance from the Ukrainian military. So during a, a congressional hearing on Tuesday, the heads of the U.S. intelligence agencies told lawmakers that despite the issue of the, uh, you know, the issues with the invasion, Vladimir Putin is likely to escalate the conflict in the coming weeks. They said we, they said we assess Moscow's, Moscow underestimated the strength of Ukraine's resistance and the degree of internal military challenges uh, that they would face, which include an ill-constructed plan, a low morale and considerable considerable logistical issues i remember there was a story saying that i don't know if it's true or not but it's been reported in a lot of places uh ukrainian you know parachute troops landed at a beach near odessa and they had no idea where they were and they had to ask for directions from local ukrainians which is crazy i mean the russian military is portrayed as a very powerful army very strong force um, but I think a lot of people have overestimated the Russian army. Uh, let's have a look. So it says here, Haynes added that it remains, and this is Avril Haynes, Director of National Intelligence. She added that it remains unclear whether Russia will pursue a maximalist plan of capturing all of Ukraine or that it will change and just try to capture, you know, the Donbass area in the east of Ukraine. I think it's too late. I mean, a lot of people, including me, expected that Russia would only go for the Donbass region. They already took Crimea, which they annexed, and Ukraine wants it back still. Um, and they had they were in control of small parts of eastern Ukraine. And I thought they just they were just gonna take the whole the, you know the Donbass region. But instead they went all in. So she continued uh, Putin perceives this as a war that he cannot afford to lose. And yes he can't afford to lose it. Like his standing will be ruined like he's portrayed as this powerful leader who wins who knows what he's doing and if it turns out that he lost and it's a clear defeat for russia that's going to hurt him it's going to hurt him with uh with his supporters in russia it's going to hurt him in the in the government and he might not last as as president so it says the russian president did not anticipate the effects of western sanctions or the pri or the private sectors pull out from russia this is another major thing the economic sanctions that have been placed, I never expected these sanctions to be so strong. I think if Putin went in and as he thought would happen, he would, you know, take Ukraine in two days, I think he wouldn't have faced these sanctions. But the West and the world, they saw, okay, he's struggling, so let's put more pressure onto him. And now he's facing massive, massive sanctions. The Russian economy might collapse. I really think they might collapse. Because keep in mind, Russia depends heavily on the export of oil and gas. Their economy is based on that. And the U.S. just banned uh, Russian oil and gas imports. And if the EU and Europe follows suit, which is expected to happen, it's game over. It's game over. I mean, how, how are they going to pay the Russian troops? How, how are they going to, you know, so it's, it's going to be a big, big problem for Russia. But let's see what happens, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.